Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder and executive chairman of Alibaba Group, Mr. Jack Ma. Good evening, everyone. Dear Chancellor Macau, Deputy Prime Minister Ma Kai, Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to speak here in the CBIT. I remember 14 years ago when I first came to Hanover, I tried to rent a small booth to sell the Chinese products to the West and to the Europe. It's been a long time to looking for the booth. At that time, Hanover was not that prosperous, but the fair was very successful. It's difficult to get a booth. Finally, we got a small booth. We got to the booth, but very few people found us. Eight years ago, we came back again. We tried to help all the booths to move them online, help them to sell on Alibaba. It did not work. Because at that time, people think the trade affair and online are conference to each other. Today, I come back again. The reason I come back again is try to find the important and missing part of the internet business. Internet in the past 20 century, in the past 20 years, was pretty successful. But one thing that is very strange that I found that very few internet companies can survive peacefully and healthily for more than three years. That means most of the internet companies can only have honey days, honey weeks. They don't have even honey months. And what is the problem? Where is the missing part? So I think that I strongly believe the missing part is in Europe. What is that? Whether we like it or not, in the past 20 years, internet has launched a huge impact to the human lives. Everybody believes that internet has done great things to the world. And also, a lot of traditional business hate the internet because they destroyed their business. But what the rest is that why internet, can, internet companies always worry, worry, because you see whether Google, Facebook, Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba, all of us worry every day. So we think there must be a problem. And the problem is that we have to find a solution that how we can be a company can live and long and healthy as long as like a Mercedes-Benz and a Siemens. If an industry cannot live more than three years, if all the companies cannot live happily for three years, this industry has never become the mainstream. This industry can never become the deep economy. So what we want to do is that how we can find this solution. The world is changing so fast. Most people don't realize what is IT, what is internet. We are moving very, very fast to data technology. IT technology and data technology, it's not the technology difference. It's the difference of people, the way people think, the way people deal with the world. We don't know what the world will look like in 30 years. And we don't know what the data will look like. But we are sure that the whole world in the next 30 years will be changed. If the first and the second innovation and technology revolution relieve or liberate the human strength, the physical strength, this revolution release and liberate the strength of a human brain, the brain, the innovation. The future world, we believe, will be connected not by oil, not by other things, but by data. The future world, the business is C to B, not B to C. C to B is consumer to business, not business to consumer. Because you have a lot of data, because of the data, the manufacturer must do customized things. Otherwise, manufacture will be very difficult. In the future, all the manufacturers, they make the machines the machines can not only produce the products, 
the machines must talk, the machine must think, and the machine is not going to be supported by oil, by electricity. The machine is going to be supported by data. The future world business will not focusing on the size. Business will not focus on standardization and the power. They will focus like focused on the flexibility, nimbleness, customization, and user friendliness. And also, I strongly believe the future world we are going to have a lot of women leaders because in the future. People not only focus on the muscles, powers; they focus on wisdom. They focus on careness and responsibility. <laughs> and I think internet must find the missing part. This missing part is how the clicks and the motors can work together, and how we can making sure. In the next 30 years, the internet and the clicks and motors can work together. Only where clicks and motors can work together, internet companies can survive, can live happily for next 30 years. And if that day comes, that day we call it the economy, and it's, got, it's not a digital economy, which I call data economy. Everything is going to be changed. And I also believe the world. Is going to be beautiful, but the world is very challenging. Apple may not be the future, but Apple tells us what the future will look like. That is something in the machine is moving. That is data. We are at a great time of innovation, inspiration, invention, and creativity. And I think everybody is working hard, trying to realize their dreams. Today you see here are real, real, real world workers, are truck drivers, and and are game players, and also all these senior people. Everybody in the ocean, eight ocean times, Asian times, nobody can leverage the technology to realize their dreams. Today, because of the data, everything becomes the truth. And I strongly believe it's not the technology. That change the world. It's the dreams behind the technology that change the world. If the technology change the world, I will never be here. I'm not trained to be a I'm not trained to be technology. I know nothing about a computer, and I know very little about the internet. I have a strong dream that we want to help small business. So 14 years ago, we came here to sell Chinese products to Europe. That won't work. Fourteen years later, we try to help the European small business to China, to the world by using the internet. It's the dreams that drive the world. It's not only the technology. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's work hard. It's a fantastic world. It's a world belongs to young people. It's a world belongs to the future. And thank you very, very much for listening. And I also would love to take this opportunity to present to you a small innovative product which we design because we are e-commerce company. Online payment to buy things is always a big headache. You forget your password. You forget about you worry about the securities. Today we show you a new technology in the future. People, how people can buy things online. And my、uh, colleague Sabrina, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so let's how see how this technology works. Well, All right, internet is amazing. Before I come here, search on the Alibaba internet, the e-commerce site. We found a stamp, which is 1948 Hanover Messi Export, and the second year after Hanover, it's a souvenir stamp selling online for 20 euros. So we're going to buy it now. And how do you buy it? We just press buy. 
and the face recognition. Ah, it works. So in six days, we are going to confirm. All right. In six days, this stamp will be delivered to the mayor office of Hanover as the gift. Online, and it's on the way. Thank you. We also find. Thank you. We also find the two gifts for Chancellor and Prime Minister. They are also one postcard, one calendar in the 1954 and 1940s. So we would give this as a gift to the. Chancellor and Prime Minister, thank you very much again.